Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. Today, we got ourselves a M249 machine gun foam dart blaster and this is an epic one. And of course, this video wouldn't be possible without the help from Mac Potato for helping me to bring this blaster in for the sake of today's video. To those who do not know who is Mac Potato, Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dart blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dart blaster such as this guy over here. So if you guys are interested with the M249 or even interesting blasters such as the XM1014 or even the M870, feel free to visit Mac Potato. Link is in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, a buttstock, a barrel, a fake scope, a ammo box, the chain housing for your darts, a flimsy stand, a safety goggle, a laser, a sling, a battery, a battery charger, 30 darts, and a manual. In order to put the dart housing together, first we are going to align according to the arrow. Align the pegs properly, remember to push in the head first, and then slowly twist it in. The housing will click together. Repeat the process until you finish connecting them all. Installing the buttstock is pretty straightforward, basically just grab the buttstock and slide it in just like so. For the barrel, you just have to friction fit it just like so. Installing the ammo box is pretty straightforward, just align it with the hole and push it in and it will click in. After connecting all the chains, basically you just have to push it in in the inlet just like so. To avoid the darts dangling around, there is a hole in the ammunition box. Basically, you just have to shove in the ammo chain in that hole. Next, we cut the flimsy stand. Installing the flimsy stand is pretty straightforward as well. There is a really small Picatinny rail over here. Basically, you just have to slide the stand over there. If the stand is not in use, it is just as simple as collapsing it to the body of the plaster. To install the scope, just loosen up the scope and just put it on the Picatinny rail and tighten up the screws. And slide in the laser at the Picatinny rail located at the handguard. The battery housing is located at the bottom of the handle. Basically, just push the cover away, take out the connector wire, connect the battery, put the battery in, close the battery door, and there you go. And this is how the blaster looks like when everything is installed. Okay, first look at the blaster. I mean, the whole design is definitely incredible. I mean, kids these days are just so lucky to have something like this to play with. Okay, the whole build quality is rather solid. I mean, this whole thing is not even nylon. This whole thing is made out of uh, ABS plastic. And these are really thick ABS plastic. I mean, this is not heavy or something. It's just basically well built. Uh, the size of the buttstock is of course a tad smaller than an actual M249 buttstock but the proportion of the front here is pretty darn similar with the real one. One of the main features that I actually like about this blaster is the belt fed system over here. Of course, we have seen a lot of uh, belt fed imported blaster, but most of them are like full length dart. This thing can absolutely use half length darts or any XM1014 darts. So basically, this is going to be much more accurate than your original Nerf blaster. Speaking about the belt over here, just in case if you need more ammo, you can actually purchase more belts separately from Mac Potato, which is a good thing. One more interesting thing about this blaster is that this blaster is actually powered by battery, which, you know, of course, is good to have semi-auto and full automatic. Even though in full automatic, the rate of fire is not the best. Basically, we are talking about like the uh, nerve stampede situation. But it is cool to know that budget blaster like these have these kind of features. Of course, you wouldn't expect being battery powered is a special feature, right? Of course not. This blaster can be operated manually, I mean without battery, which means that you can just prime the blaster and shoot just like that. So you wouldn't necessarily need a battery for this blaster, which is a good thing. And then we got the box over here. I, you know, I consider this as a special feature because uh, most of the imported blaster that I've seen, such as the uh, M2 Browning, doesn't really have like the box here to really, you know, 
to store all your darts like the chains and all those things uh, i think having a box over here kind of reduces this footprint a lot so that you can you know run around with it without all the uh, you know darts dangling around that you might trip on it well i think that's what a machine gun should have speaking of what machine gun should have is that the handle over here so uh this handle over here is made out of like those soft rubbery plastic it's not abs plastic or nylon it kind of felt a little flimsy it kind of felt a little soft and of course i wouldn't want to trust holding this handle because this thing might you know might snap on me but most of the time i don't think uh you will be needing this handle anyway you will be holding it like that since this is a pretty light blaster so being a heavy machine gun you definitely need to have cool tripods but the tripod over here is rather disappointing i mean come on what's this but i can totally forgive that because this whole blaster is actually made for children is not for competitive play so i can deal with it there is a picatinny rail over here there is of course a picatinny rail over here and definitely a really tiny picatinny rail over here for the you know unreasonably designed stand of course the scope over here is fake well the scope is not completely fake though yeah, there is a little bit of magnification going on at least the extra barrel over here is of course just for cosmetic purposes to make this whole thing looks more you know intimidating i mean the only real thing about this blaster is of course the uh the laser over here this is pretty much an uh an actual laser I mean look at that and with the scope out of the way there is a iron side over here and a iron side over here which I will probably never use it but overall I think this whole blaster is pretty fun to play with I mean that's really fun so without further ado let us go test the blaster out Okay, so this blaster actually shoots way harder than expected. So I'm expecting something like a like a 50 or like a lower 40, something around there. But this blaster can actually shoot from 59 FPS all the way to 73. So pretty surprising, right? I mean, the performance is basically on par with the Nerf Elite performance. And one of the most surprising thing for me about this blaster is that this blaster actually shoots pretty straight. Of course, so far, I didn't experience any jam or whatsoever. I mean, this whole blaster firing mechanism kind of reminds me of the Nerf Stampede. I think this is basically the same firing mechanism, the same system that, uh, you know, this blaster is using over here. To some people, it might be a good thing because as far as I know there are some people who don't really like flywheel blaster because of the raving noise so in conclusion this is a really fun blaster to play with and if you are looking for a fun blaster to play with your kids or if you don't have any kids or you're like me just trying to look for something fun to play with this is definitely one of them so yep that's all today guys like this video if you like it dislike this video if you do not like it subscribe if you haven't already and of course I'm gonna see you in the next video I mean, that's really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah.